China, 690 AD, in an effort to drive out criminal elements and consolidate her rule, China's first empress presses her influence to every corner of the empire, Spearheading this campaign are the magistrates chief enforcers of imperial law. Endowed with the powers of police, judge and jury, the magistrates have become the face of law and order throughout the land. One such magistrate is D. Renji, known throughout his jurisdiction simply as Judge D. Loved and respected in equal measure, Judge Dee's keen mind and strong sense of justice have led the Empress to expand his jurisdiction to include the isolated Yi Wang Prefect. No sooner had Dee accepted this new responsibility than he received an urgent plea for help from the Shi Xing of Wu Ling, a small but wealthy town at the edge of this new prefect. Accompanied, as always, by his two trusted bodyguards, Jin and Li, Di now travels to Wu Ling to investigate the matter. Hello everyone to a new kind of game. What is this game? Well, it's called Judge D, the City God Cake. It is basically my favorite type of game. I enjoy playing these when they don't have time limits. Originally, I wasn't going to talk through these. Just have it as a walkthrough, but I realized when I came to a certain kind of puzzle that I can't make it a walkthrough because I don't know how to solve the puzzle without skipping it. So this is just going to be a new playthrough. Which I have to be or be on this real quick because my screen caption is cut off near the bottom. So we'll be right back. Okay, I had to cut it and then bring back here. Apparently, when I fixed the little cut at the bottom, it made the bandy cam overlay disappear. So, we're gonna have to deal with the little bit cut off. Anywho, let's go ahead and start. We're going on easy. God, isn't it, D? What's that, Jin? That message you received, the one from Wu Lang's Jin... Jin's Hang? I think that's how you say it. Calling for your aid, it is signed Lin. And, well, that's a woman's name, isn't it? Don't you find that odd? A female, Xing Zing, Xing Hang. Hey, we here? Hopefully, you can see my mouse. I turned that back on. The way he looks, I don't know why, it reminds me of Neji Hyuga from Naruto. Not so odd, a woman is perfectly capable of being a leader. What's the matter, Lee? You have a secret girlfriend who wants to be in first one day? You disprove your own point, Jin. Your own... Our own... Regent... Regent? Ruler of the very ground beneath our feet is herself a woman. A rare thing. First of her kind, in fact. Of course, Dee. Forgive me. You have a point, though. Change is the slowest of all travelers. I was surprised to find this kind of enlightenment so far from the capital city. But maybe the rumors are true. Perhaps this is the birth of a new era, after all. Perhaps, Lee. But whatever, whether the old ways die without a fight remains to be seen. I'm going to keep opening that because flashing it attracts my attention. Also, if we ever get stuck, I have a printed walkthrough. Okay. 
take that. To him. You don't fry me with your wooden feet and your icy breath. I've seen your mask. Hold your tongue. This is an imperial magister you're addressing. I think I said that right. Easy, Jen. Don't think this man is in his right mind. He's just trying to make a living, see? He's selling trinkets from his garden. What is your name, old man? What is in a name? Is a man no more than his name? If you forget a man's name, is the man then too forgotten? Olaine is supposed to be very be a very wealthy town. But you should come to live on the streets. We are cursed. All of us cursed. City God will rain sorrow, misery upon us all until the flower petal blows no more. Flower petal? Did he mean Jonza? Shiz. I'm gonna try to pronounce this correctly. Shiz Hang. Shiz Hang. We'll call it Shiz Hang Lin. Fire petal blooms on the wind with no mind of its own. She has lost her stem, and all the world will pay. Crops are dying, animals are sick, the first sun is next to fall. That's an expensive looking ring you're wearing around your neck. How do you come to own such a thing? Expense is not weighed in what it costs to have a thing, but what it costs to not have it. Again, this pushing is going to drive me crazy. And we come to a nice buy game. Which I may randomly click sometimes. I'm also flying as hell. I've also have been looking for the Sing Yang. Now I'm gonna look for the Jake Pendant. Half these things I can't tell. There you go. Chief and a yin yang. Be one of those. You probably already found the yin yang and probably yelling at your screen. You're not yelling loud enough. Yell louder. Oh, let's see. That blends it so well. I don't know what dragon points are used for because the last time I played through this, I never even used them. Let's 
city is quarantined, nobody gets in without observation from the Shin's hang. Then fortune smiles, I happen to have such a letter right here. Give it to me. It is a great honor to welcome you to our city. You will see the palace of the Shengs hang on your right. What you talking to that crazy man will be a waste of time. What has and what was all that about the city guy bringing sorrow and misery? Poor man, there was such a sadness about him. Did you see it? Indeed, and from the looks of things, there is much sadness to go around. Yeah, this doesn't exactly feel like the wealthy town I've heard it was. What's going on here? Very good question, Jin. We need to find Shen Zi Lin. And she's located this direction. Greetings, Xing Zing Hang. I present Imperial Magistrate, the famous judge, stop before the. before the. present stations. Untied! I want to be sure you are in fact Judge D. Yeah, I am very. I am wary of treachery. I have a test to ferret out. Oh my honor, I enough Jin, present your test Shins Hang Hang. Are you welcome to challenge? <coughs> this is the puzzle I had to skip on. So I don't know how to do these. Do I Oh, um, Miz, how you put that one right there? Hello, sweet lag. Hey, let's get And I don't know what dragon points are useful. Now that the formalities are out of the way, sing. I'm gonna call her mayor. Or countess. Countess sounds better. Countess Lynn. I believe you sent me. Sent for me. Yes, thank you for coming so soon. My son is slipping away and my guardsmen have their hands full dealing with the civil unrest. I will do what I can, but I need to know everything. Why are the streets deserted? How did your town come to be in such a state? The people in town believe I have cursed the city by dishonoring the day of Kun Lee's yeah. I can't read some of these words. What is... Shin's? Shin? Shin's condition now. He's dying and no one can tell me why. Superstitious townsfolk say I've brought this on myself. I suspect conspiracy. I think someone is trying to destroy me. Where is your son? Shin is in his room. I kept the door locked. Since he became ill, no one except myself, the doctors, and his best friend, Bo. May enter. What a name. Probably means something great, though. Bo is in the study if you need to speak with him. I see. And who else has access to his palace? My captain, Yi. Yi? Is it Yi? Has an office here in my home. I believe he's tending to the disturbance. To a disturbance in the at the prison. But he should return soon. He's a man of the people. They trust him. He's someone you should speak to. You mentioned a name. Kun Li? This is Wu Ling. City God? Yes, the people of this town think I've angered him by honoring our son on the day of his... I guess... When he became a city god, it's probably what the word means. But I know this is to be impossible. 
Meng Fei is a monk from the local monastery. He can tell you more about our customs in this matter. Do you have any enemies who wish harm upon you or your family? After the death of my husband, and he did not favor my taking his place as countess. Many do not believe that a woman has the right to hold office, no matter how educated she may be. Speak to Fane, he's my chief opponent, and a rat. If anyone would wish me harm, it would be him. Bye game. Eee. Thing. Handle. Origami. Ruby. Saber. Brain. Heron. I need the earring. Oh, there it is on the corner. Oh, that's it. There's a cutoff down there, so if you can't see a bit of the tip, the arrow, or anything, there's nothing I can do. Click that. This one's an easy one. friend? Yes, sir. And are you here to save him? Do you believe someone can be saved from the sea gods first? I don't believe the sea god punishes people. I believe people punish each other in the sea god's name. That is a very well stated argument. Bo, do you attend school? No, sir. My mother taught me everything I know. Like, like the countess. My mother has an, was an educated woman. But unlike the Countess, she was never allowed to show it. The Countess is a fortunate woman, a true symbol of her time. Women have only very recently been allowed the right to an education. Thanks to our new Empress, how, how do you, did your mother come to about hers? My mother is Wing Chu, Manchu. I guess whoever's, I guess this is a Chinese. Whoever's Chinese will know what that means. Our people are looked down upon in most parts of the city, so we've become very secretive and interesting. All I know is she used to have a teacher, but he's gone now. Do you know how Shin got sick? No, he seemed tired the last couple of weeks, but nothing serious like this. How do you and Shin usually spend your time together? Shin and I like to practice calligraphy. His mother provides us a very fine, a very fine scroll paper that's extremely hard to come by. It holds the ink better than most. That's why we practice here. Where are spike name? Miss Nichols. Glove. The white stuff. Put gummy under the table. 
some bars. That right there is an extra statue. The plant is huge. It cannot be missed. Sugar bowl. It's the one with the top. And white. Again, if you're yelling at your screen because you found it, yell it louder. Oh, there it is. Got the love. open I can hear the young patient cough. <coughs> I just love the music in his room. Who who's there? <coughs> oh Shin, I am Judge D, Magister of this of this perfect <coughs> Perfect. <coughs> Anna, your mother sent for me. And you must be good at cough at solving other people's problems. <coughs> you seem angry at your mother, can you tell me why? Eh, I cough. I don't know if I really buy into this curse thing, but cough. It is real. It's not <coughs> fair that I get punished for my mother's sin. When did you first fall ill? Off the morning of the celebration, I told my mother I didn't <coughs> feel it was right to celebrate. But as usual, she's only concerned about herself. Off, so I stood on the steps of our home to make the speech she wrote for me. The next thing I know, I had passed out. <coughs> the ivory monkey around your neck. It's for good luck. Yes. Where did it come from? Not sure, Off. <coughs> Not sure I believe in luck anymore. My, fa my father believed a man made his own luck. Now look where that got him. How long have you and Bo been friends? <coughs> Off, Bo. Bo and I have been friends our whole life. Our mothers were friends as well. Bo left home long ago. He stays here <coughs> most nights. Not to be rude, Magistrate. I'm saying Magistrate. I don't know why. But I think I need to rest now. <coughs> That's the thing about dying. Cough. It really wears you out. <coughs> Ding -ding. Another one. Steps there. Is it over here? And goes in the door. The thing my mother used, right there. Nothing. Goodness, there's a lot. Is it right there? Yes. And then hers is right there. I have no clue what that is. Is that? Yeah. hit the thing. Sorry. <coughs> right, now we have to go out. We can come in here. And speak to him. You, you're not from around here, are you? State your business. I suggest you watch your tongue. You're addressing the Imperial Magistrate, I'm saying magistrate, I don't know. Oh, ahem, I see. Forgiveness, your honor. But one cannot be too careful in times such as these. You're Paul Fang, yes? And what is your occupation? Have you know I'm a well-respected politician in Wu Ling. I suppose you're our beloved countess. 
sent you to do her bidding. I answer only to the Empress, and I come in search of the truth, nothing more. What do you know of the Countess' son and his illness? It's common knowledge that our so-called Countess called this curse down with her appearance to the godly god. They say she honored her son above him, and now the boy must pay with his life. And do you subscribe to this belief as well? I know that the Countess Lee, Lynn, is only what is in her own best interest. She was never even elected into office. She used polit politic favors, political favors, and penniman wills to get where she is. Even now, she does nothing to please the city god. People will not stand for this. I suppose you know someone who's better suited for the task. Ambition is not a crime, Magistrate. I wish only that Wu Ling will be served by his most capable hands. I was educated and trained in the highest standards. I am more capable than capable of leading this city. And yet you do not. Do you wish harm upon the Countess or those close to her? I am passionate about my politics, Magistrate. I am a man of words, of intelligence, of intellect, I mean. I would never stop so stoop so low as that. There might be some translation errors. Grab the red powder. Around the room. We have almost as many. He has almost as many weapons as I do. Surprising me for a politician. If you need dragon points, you can beat this guy in, uh, whatever you call that game. It has black things and red and white things. It's not checkers. I always like Jin. One day I'll be great, oh, I like Jin. The, rage, the rat rages in the heart of the night. This is basically what you do. You just put, read this and put the animals from here into there. And it's always random. The monkey never misses n snack time. The monkey's right there. Dragon rises before the snake. Dragon's right there. Horse gallops in the afternoon. Dragon hunts at night. The rooster goes to sleep early. The goat is between the horse and the monkey, so the horse goes here. If she leaves. Dog right there. Yep. Those are switched. There we go. And now we can go in here. Grab the powder. Speak to him. An Imperial Magistrate, an honor. Ah, an Imperial Magistrate. I'm calling him Magistrate because I can't pull all those words. In order to meet you, I am called... Mufe. How may I serve you today? In conducting an investigation, I will need to ask you a few questions as part of that. Ah, uh, you come about the boy. I am at your service. I need you to tell me about the city god of Wuling. Of course, as you know, when someone spends their life in service of the city, it's people's Sometimes after death, and it's people, sometimes after death he's chosen to become the Chung Eng. 
Hadn't, uh, I'm not going to try. Or city god. City god's job is to ensure the prosperity of the city he serves. He keeps the crops plentiful and the animals healthy. But he also maps out justice to the unjust, much like yourself. Yes, a Wu Lang city god. His name is Con Lee. In his human life, he was Count of Wu Ling and husband to her current Countess Lin. But on their son's birthday, Con Lee was found dead under a willow tree. Hence, the, that day is to be honored as his day of accession. Okay. I think I figured out how to say that. I see, so Con Lee's holy day is also Shin's birthday. Tell me, if the city god really has cursed Wu Ling. How can that curse be broken? The only way to please the sea god is to make a death offering of the four elements that carried him through his human life. The elements that to, to him represented the elements that to him represented happiness, sorrow, love, pleasure. But to correctly identify these elements you must learn who Hun Li was as a man. A good place to start would be the monastery where he was educated. Gift offerings. I've not heard of this coffin. Uh, what's up that word? Gift offerings are gifts that you offer those who have moved on from this life. You can see that many people have tried to please Hun Li with death offerings of their own. There was even a crazy man who offered a ring he stole from the sea god when he was a man. Captain Yi, Yi arrested him from for thievery shortly before he arrived. How did you come to be chief caretaker of this temple? I was once chosen by the gods to convey an important prophecy for after which Countess Lin decided that I should be promoted to this to this position. It is indeed an honor. So the crazy guy we met before, the ring it was around his neck, he stole from the count or mayor. Not an item fine game, by the way. The ring is in the instant candle things. Ah. Uh -huh. uh, how many items was that? Or got me. Oh great, we have fun hanging. Oh look, a deer spot. Tiger statue. Who thought that was a lion? Green. Leave here, grab the powder. And with that, this has been Land and Sea. Signing out.